I'm just off of uh, the Deer Trail, Highway 108, south of Elliott Lake. I um, <coughs> walked this trail last year, last autumn. So I thought I'd give it another check today, and it is, as expected, gorgeous. There are a lot of reds in here. A bit of uh, traffic noise from the highway. Beautiful. There's a whole bunch of this uh, pipe wort along the edge of this pond. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think it was this dry last time I was down here. I'm pretty sure the levels dropped. Normally the pipe board is growing in water. There's a whole bunch of it around here on the shore. Little white balls on the stems.
Really nice color combination in here. But uh, the reds across the other side of the pond are just so pretty. I'm glad the sun came out. It was really foggy this morning. Walking away from the pond now, back up to where I parked the Jeep, or very close to where I parked the Jeep. There's a roadway up there that I walk to. I guess these are ATV trails, pretty much. bush around here to enjoy. It's about four in the afternoon now. This road is more frequently used by ATVs. There's some really pretty reds in there. Coming up to a beaver pond. Looks like there's a big huge lodge in there. I don't remember that from before. I do remember the roadway was swamped so I couldn't uh, get too far 
along the road because of the nature of the flooding. So uh, maybe I'll be able to go a little further today. Maybe we'll see some wildlife in here. A beaver or something. A duck. Our eyes open. Well, I made it to the other side of the pond. There was a big puddle in the road, but there was enough uh, edging around it to squeeze through, so I managed to get through there without getting my foot wet. I haven't been over to this side of the pond, so kind of interesting to do something new. There's more trail too that I'm gonna follow once I'm finished investigating this part. There's a lily still blooming here, water lily. I can hear a little stream. Do you hear that? It's almost five o'clock, so I probably should call it a day for walking, but I'm curious about what's up ahead here. <laughs> I did see the end of an ATV trail when I was coming down um, the road uh, from the um, golf course, because I had gone up there thinking that's where I would find part of the arts on the trail um, exhibit, but uh, I was in the wrong place. So uh, I did see an ATV trail coming up to that road, and I'm just wondering if this might be uh, the one that comes up there, because I'm not that far from the uh, Nordic Mine Road. Getting a little bit further away from traffic now. Huh? Or maybe the traffic's just died down a little because uh, people are going home to eat. I'm losing a lot of uh, good light for taking pictures. Should have got in here a couple hours ago, I think. Sure is pretty though.
Got to enjoy it while it's here because it doesn't last long enough. Fall should be the longest season ever, I think. You know, we could use a good month of these fall colors. Instead, we're lucky if we get a couple of weeks. I think I might walk just a little bit further and I'll have to turn around and go back. I have to. Uh. Day is too short in the fall. There's a mighty big rock up there. This It's all rock on, along this side of the road with the trees clinging to their surface. And then I guess over on the other side it looks pretty much like similar. I don't know if it's as rocky. Might be more forested. I don't know. Hard to tell through here. I think there's rock in there. There, that's a better view of the rock. No lack of rock around Elliot Lake. Should have called it Elliot Rock. <laughs> Look way up there. That's one rock wall there. What a pleasant place to walk. Still rock.
such a glutton. I can't stop gobbling up this eye candy. Good thing it's not fattening. Glorious. Yummy, delicious. telling myself as soon as I see what's around this corner I'll turn around and go back and then I see another corner up ahead and I think well what's what's beyond that corner the bear went over the mountain well Linda Linda went round the corner and I'm pretty sure people think I've gone round the bend Okay, yep, so there, that's what's around this corner. And there's probably more of the same around the next corner, so I should be able to just turn around and go back, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Am I talking to myself? No, I'm talking to you. So, oh gee, that's pretty. Mmm, well. Pretty hard to turn around at this point. Would have been easier if it had been like all green and nasty looking. Oh dear. Well, I am losing the light, so I should just uh, accept that this should be done another day. But if there's a windstorm and it takes all the leaves off the trees, rain and, and, uh, Rain and wind are not very nice to colored leaves. Oh, and my battery's flashing. You know what, that would definitely make me turn around if my battery stopped. My camera shuts down. Okay, so maybe I can get one more bend in, one more corner. I see one up there. Let's look around it and then that's it. And I'm turning around, I promise. Well, this is what's around the bend. You know what? Now that I get here, I am thinking that this might come out back onto that uh, road that went down to the pond. Um, hmm. You know, the, the pond I initially started uh, showing you with the little pipe wart. If that's the case, this road will take me back to the Jeep and I won't have to go uh, around that big mud puddle, if I'm correct. It sure looks like, this sure looks familiar from when I, I did walk around that pond last time I was here. And this looks familiar. So it could be just one big loop that the ATV trail takes around. Hmm. That would save me some time if I could just walk out here and uh, get back to the Jeep because it's not that far from this point. Let's see if I can see if there's a pond beyond this knoll. Thank you. 
No such luck. There's a bunch of bones set in there. It's a, looks like it's a low area, but it's not the pond that I thought it might be. So um, I will have to walk back all the way. Darn, that means I've got to look at all this color all over again. Hmm, how terrible to think. Oh, gee. Well, I'm just going to get so bloated with all this eye candy, it won't be funny. It'll be hilarious. It'll be wonderful. I'm enjoying every second of it. Almost back to the Jeep. Glorious. <laughs> 